Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's a nice, quiet afternoon up at the schoolhouse and it's raining. I did just lay down on the bed because it was a little warm and kind of was trying to watch a little YouTube, but it buffers and uh, dozed off for a second. But woke up feeling this really nice, cool, cool, coldish breeze coming through the windows, and it's because it's raining. It's raining, and the air is so cool out. Ah, oh, feels so nice. The coolness is like on a on a, a Florida winter's day, you know, when it's a little bit chilly in the air. That's the coolness. So it feels so good. You can hear the rain behind me. It is so pretty outside. Let me show you guys. Let me flip you around. Go out here on the porch. Ah, so nice out with the rain. Oh yeah, you can feel the coolness in the porch floor. The porch floor is cold. Ugh. Oh, that's such a nice sound. And I can smell the rain. Oh, there's something about the smell of rain. You don't get it in Florida a lot because it's so hot down there. But I can smell, I can smell the rain. It smells so good. I can smell the rain. Oh, I just smell the rain. I just smell it when it started an hour or so ago. I just smell the rain. Oh, so pretty. I had no idea what kind of tree that is. I had no idea. That bloomed with pretty flowers. Kind of looks like a hibiscus, but I don't know if I think it is. I don't think the hubby and the daughter really cared too much for the old house. I mean, they came up with me. It gave the hubby a chance to get away for a week. And he said he'd come up again, but honestly, I don't think they see what I see. I, I just don't think they see it. They'll be glad to get back home. I just don't think they... But that's okay. They don't have to see what I see. Oh, it feels so good out. I think the first time I ever came up to Kentucky was in July. Before 4th of July. And there was a cold front that came through because it was chilly that year. About three years ago. Because Mom and I made the comment uh, when, we, um, when we got up here that, oh, it was cold up here in July. So this kind of makes me think of the first time I came up here. And it, the coolness in the air right now kind of makes... Mm, Makes me think of the first time I came up to Kentucky with Mama. But now the art studio's come around, or art room, whatever you want to call it. It's come around. It's kind of put together. I mean, this was just the first load up. So... I've gotten this far before I go back. Uh, 
Uh, I've gotten this far. And I think everybody is, if I take you into the rest of the house, I think everybody's kind of dozing. Yeah. It's dark. I don't want to turn the lights on. Why? It's nice. Yep. This was a big one. It's my best friend for two years. Husband's taking a nap. He's falling asleep. Gracie's on her bed. Uh, out the back, it is. Is the door stuck? I think the door stuck. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. Oh, this is so nice. So nice. Probably should grab that door, but. So pleasant. I didn't see any deer this time, but I think that's because, I think back in that holler right back there, um, on the other side of my property line, um, I think there's somebody who's got a couple dogs because some dogs have been coming in and when they go, when they leave, they go back through the holler there. And they don't come back out. And I think it's because there must be somebody back behind me that has a couple dogs and they're able to, they let them out. And they're coming through my fence down there somewhere. Um, so I might have to, go, it's not, it's not like fencing at home. It's more like, you know, that kind of fencing where it's just strips of barbed wire that go from side to side. So I think somebody's dogs are coming up through the hall of there. And, uh. They're letting them out early in the morning, like early, early. And they're coming up to the holler because it, Gracie's been barking at something a couple mornings this week. And then what happens is the dogs go back through the holler and they don't come back out. So I think they're going back home that way. Which I don't, can't do nothing about that. I don't like it because um, I think it's keeping the deer away. Because before I had deer that way. The whole entire time I was up here in um, May, deer. I saw so much deer up in that holler. And I, I'm not, I haven't seen one deer since we've been here this week. So I know it's been hotter and they tend to want to hunker down and stay in the cool. But here, that sounds so good. That sound of that rain. It sounds so good. On the porch right there on that table. I don't know if y'all can see it. And on that table right there. Let me bring it. Let me shut the door. On the table right there, we found some old vintage jars up underneath the propane gas tank outside. Um, they're some of them are really old. They got an Art Deco flair to them. I, I dug them out. Looks like we're getting a couple inches of rain today. Looks like the bottles are filling up about an inch, so we're getting an inch of rain. Mm, this is so nice. The rain took the heat off of the day. Excuse me. I had a hiccup there. Another one. Let me cut the hiccups now. Mm. Those wildflowers over there in the field, if I could have gotten closer, <gasps> I got hiccups. Those wildflowers are so pretty. I 
Go back inside. You guys saw me dehydrating of vegetables and stuff. That's what I did it for, right there. So I have some essentials when I'm up here later and need them if I can't get to the store. So basically down at the bottom, I have elbow macaroni and rice right down there. And then there's these there's these sweet pickles and stuff that you can get, like um, bread and bud pickles, but like um, at the Peddler's Mall, there's a company that puts their stuff in the Peddler's Mall. So I think that's uh, called uh, a sweet mix right there, right there, which has got pickles and onion, you know, little baby round onions and some cauliflower. And then right there, I believe that is cauliflower sweet pickled cauliflower on that shelf right there I have split peas kidney beans black beans and then I have like flavored rices right there and then right there is some mixed vegetables that have been dehydrated tomatoes peas corn potatoes then the peppered onions I made and then on the next shelf up right there is some of Bevel's jellies that I've got my hands on and then I've got my mandarin oranges pineapple apples peaches raisins and then behind the raisins is um, and the raisins is um, get it at Publix it's a like raisins but it's blueberries cranberries raisins it's like a mix and then on the top, on that shelf right there, is the dehydrated hamburger meat, some bacon bits, and chicken. I'm taking home that ground turkey right there. And then that right there is oatmeal. <laughs> I put that in candy jars since I've been up here. Because I really need the oatmeal for the heart smart part. But um, when I get the flavored oatmeal, I don't add sugar or anything to it. I only add dry fruit to it. But can't eat a whole package of oatmeal it's a texture thing I like oatmeal cookies I like the smell of oatmeal but it's the mushy hot texture that I can't handle and then on the top shelf is gravy mixes it's everything from gravy on that right here top shelf the brown bottles are like cornmeal flour that kind of thing but this top shelf the top white is um, dried milk dried eggs um, gravy mixes, that kind of thing. So that's what I did with the dehydrating, in case you were curious. I did it for the house up here. I'll probably vacuum in later, a little bit later, get up Gracie's hair, and uh, sweep the house so that um, we can close it up to not tomorrow morning to go to Kentucky. I mean, to go to Florida. I'm in Kentucky to go home to Florida and then I'm going to pack up another load of craft stuff. I'll pack up another load of craft stuff. You flip y'all. I'll pack up another load of craft stuff and uh, bring it back up to Kentucky. I think that next visit to Kentucky, I think it's just going to be me and Gracie. Me and Gracie. Ugh. Yeah, I think it's just going to, ouch, my hips bother me today. It's probably the coolness in the air. <laughs> yeah, I think Gracie and I'll bring up another load of craft stuff. And then I think Gracie and I are going to be up here in Kentucky for the winter. I think we are. There's this thing called court days that goes on up here. And we... After we did something we had to do the day in town, hubby and I, um, we still had to do some legal paper on the house. Um, we stopped off at this called this little country store in, in the Preston area of Owensville. It's it was called the 
Blebin store. Um, this, gen this gentleman had owned it a long time. Well, he closed it down two years ago. And somebody bought it. And the deal was not to change the store. So, because it's a historical site. I mean, it's been there for like ever. So, I saw when we got into town a week, a couple days. Well, a few days back I saw when we went to see Bevels and Wes and Suzanne, one of those trips and to see them, I saw that the little store was open. So I told my husband and daughter, I said, you want to stop and see the store? I said, it's really unique. I mean, there's so much old stuff. It used to be a country store and the post office. The gentleman who owned it in the past, he ran the store and his wife ran the post office. So, um, I, and they used to sell these bologna sandwiches. When we were there three years ago, somebody came in and ordered a bologna sandwich. And I swear, I swear, I, re I remember, whether I remember it right or not, I remember the old guy grabbed the hunk of bologna that was sitting on the counter, grabbed the knife that was just sitting on the counter, sliced off a slab of bologna, let it fall to the tabletop, and then turn around and slap it on a piece of bread and handed it to the guy, okay? Um, no glove, no nothing was used. It was just... And I thought, I think he's going to die of food poisoning or something. Well, today we were in it because we stopped to look. Because it's a different owner and, and, and everything. And the, according to the gentleman today, who is helping out the guy who owns it, the health department did get involved when they reopened. But they left it alone, because, left the building alone because it's a historical site. But the guy was wearing gloves today. He was, he, there was a uh, clean, like, parchment paper placed down before he sliced the bologna. And he, re he took the bologna out of the refrigerator. Everything was sterile. Everything was clean today. So it was totally different. And the store has been, like, um, somewhat declutterized. <laughs> but I found out when we were in there today... The thing called court days, which happens in October up in this area. It happens in Owensville in the Preston area, and it happens. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. Hey, <laughs> excuse me. It happens in Mount Sterling. Mount Sterling has been canceled, but the gentleman today told me that they have not officially canceled Owensville's um, court days. Um, the lady at the gas company thought she saw something on Facebook but had not heard an official closure yet. Someone said it was but nothing official has been said yet. So, I don't uh, the guy today swore up and down because he's smack in the middle. That little Bevins Bevel, Be, Be, Bevins store Blevins store Blevins I think it's called. That is smack in the middle of Cortez. That little store. So, I think they would kind of know being that they are like in the center of the of everything that happens i mean blevin's store is like i said smack in the middle of the area where court days happens and court days is all these vendors come and set up all over the place and it's elbow to elbow i mean it's packed there's so much stuff you can't see it all in one day um so I told the husband, I said, if court days is still on, I'm coming up before October. I'll be up here by October 10th. So, um, I, uh, I will go home and pack up the last of the art supplies that I want to bring. Husband left his clothes up here. Some of his clothes. I think he was starting to repack his suitcase because here's his jeans too. Um, I will go back home, pack up the rest of my art supply stuff, see how much it is. If it's still a load, I will go ahead and bring it back up in, maybe in August. I'm hoping he'll come up with me for a couple days in August. And then um, after that, I'll go back and just Gracie and I will come up uh, the first part of October. I want to be up here for the seasons. I think it would be so cool to see the trees change. Um, to see all the holla, um, of uh, the 
uh, pumpkin type um, decorations that people have out because I went to a pumpkin patch last year with some with someone and it I thoroughly enjoyed that so I'm hoping to go there I'd like to go there a couple times this year I need to drag Bevels I mean I need to drag her out of the house and um, maybe go there on the weekend with Bevels and Wes um, and then I can't wait to see snow I just I can't wait to see snow up here I cannot wait to see snow around the schoolhouse I've got the heaters I've ordered the heaters from the gas company and they will come in and install them when I come back up so I don't know maybe I'll be up here by October 1st so if that's the case um, I'll be up here in two months I'll be home for the next eight weeks and then I'll be back up here in two months so and I'll be up here for a while Husband's fine with it. We discussed it. He may come and go a little bit. I don't know. Daughter's talked about coming up with me. We'll see. I, I think it's the heat that got her this time. I think it's the heat. I think she, she likes cold, so I think she'd enjoy the winter up here. But I know she doesn't want to come back up in the middle of the summer. That much I do know. Okay. Katie does not want to come back to Kentucky in July or August. I know that. She does not want to come during hot months. She said it might be different in the cool months, but not in the hot months. Well, I guess I've rambled at you guys enough. It's just been a lazy afternoon at the schoolhouse. So I will um, talk at y'all later. Like and subscribe. If you don't like my videos, I'm sorry. And enjoy the craziness of life because you might just laugh at it when you tell a friend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.